Greetings, everybody, and welcome back to Carrier Command Gaia Missions. And we are now attacking Vatland, which is not too far from Sanctuary. If you saw my last video, you probably noticed there was a tremendous amount of talking. That was because there was a lot of things that we kind of had to catch up on. I did a lot of mistakes, and I wanted to showcase the more correct way of doing things. So, in this one, I'm going to try to keep it short. We're going to try to get right into the action. One of the things about this island is we have scramblers and scramblers make life miserable for us see this that's our ring of telemetry or whatever anyway we can only move units within this ring and oh, that's interesting it's expanding for some odd reason anyway right here our objective that bad boy is a scrambler and if we blow that thing up it'll increase our telemetry and so basically we'll have longer range where we can send things to break stuff and that's all we really care about awesome i think we can do this now oh the other thing about this island is it's a weak defense so this should be a pretty uneventful map we'll see for sure though oh man it's really snowy out oh hi hi again bye up flying too fast. Where's my team? You're on my side, right? Oh, we got it. Thank you. What do we got here? Not a whole lot. There is a hostile. Oh, I'm, I'm looking the wrong way. Yeah, I'm messing with the quality, the video quality, but to be completely honest, I may just go to Best Buy on this weekend and might pick myself up a new monitor because the biggest problem with my YouTube videos and why I don't record 1080p is because my monitor won't do 1080p. And yeah, that kind of sucks. So I might do some 1080p videos more frequently. Uh, there are uh, hard drive constraints as well. It would be nice to do a few at least. Hi, buddy. Uh-oh. Can somebody please... Thank you. Ask a question, get a response. There we go, the infamous scrambler. Can you guys finish him off? I got it. Don't worry, guys. Taken care of. Alright, simply put... Uh, that. Execute. Sweet. Well, that's one down. I'm going to try to keep those alive for now. We'll see how bad things get. Let's just keep flying it out. In fact, yeah, let's do that. Everyone, offense. If it moves, break it. We should probably consider the whole walrus thing, but let me see here. Where is... Is that it? Oh my gosh, I have to break all the scanners. Okay, new change of plans here. This is going to be an interesting mission. While that's going on... Do, do, do. Give myself some nav points and not crash into trees! I'm trapped in the tree. Okay, tell you what, we're gonna. No, no, don't need this now, don't need this. Oh my gosh. I'm out of the telemetry too. Okay, that got a little scary. Why is it that bad things happen to me? I do not know. Anyway. A uh, team of awesome. Actually, I gotta do this right, otherwise it's gonna freak. Okay, here we go. Whew, okay, let's try that again. Um, yeah, we'll do that. This is what I was talking about in the last map uh, with... What island was that? Asheron. In this particular map, we can pretty much ignore the Scrambler, so we're going to go ahead and give that a shot, and that's just so we can quickly take this island, uh, because it looks to me like land, buddy, land. No, seriously, land. It looks to me like that should be within telemetry range. That would be awesome. It may not be, though, too. Oh, it may not, in fact. Where's the next target? You know what? Four and five. Doc. Five. Yeah, that's why. 
You left telemetry, didn't you? Okay, he's good. Yeah, if they leave telemetry, you completely lose control of them until you get back in. It's sort of like a radio-operated car. When it goes out of range, you kind of have to step in range to get it. And since we're basically radio controlling these guys, that kind of makes sense, I suppose. Still gonna try this. If this works, that's gonna be amazing. Move to position. Yep. I think we can do this. I so hope we can. Yeah, I know. I'm starting to get to the end here. In fact, I think I'm gonna cut this out. So I'll be back when interesting things happen or we're in range. So once again... Whoops. We're going there. See you in a bit. And we're back. And hopefully blowing things up this time. Yep, seems to be. Get him, guys. I'll leave him to you. Wow, that's a lot of gunfire. I can't hit anything with missiles, rockets. So glad I packed my extra armor underwear. Go away, guys. Ugh. I really don't even need to be killing that. Okay, guys. Don't leave telemetry. Don't be bad. No, attack. Attack. Get it. Get it. There we go. Whoops. That was it? Really? That was easier than I thought it would be. Well, like I said, this was a weakly defended island. See? It's just neat. Hmm. Interesting. Still, though, Asheron is quite a bit strong. I accidentally deployed my wall ride. Whoops. Okay, well, whatever, man, whatever. I guess from this point, yeah, it's pretty much they've lost their defense, too, so there's not a whole lot. I'm sorry, i just thinking this seems like it should be a lot more complicated than it is, and it's really not. Uh, you move faster, so turn around. Off we go again. Move faster! I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, I have my soda with me, which generally provides me with a caffeine boost. However, I have not drunk, drank in any of it yet, so I really don't know why I'm super hyper right now. I did get off work, so maybe that's why. Glad to be home. It's always that great feeling you get when you come back from somewhere that, well, I mean, I can't really complain too much about the place. As far as jobs go, I've had a lot worse. So, you know, I'm happy where I am. But still, nothing's quite like home. Alright, well, I guess while we're waiting for the carrier to park, I'll tell you what I'm working on on this. We're going to basically just deploy a tiny little walrus and have him capture that point, call it a day. And I'll have two through five providing air support since there is still a live Manta garage, which I have no intent of blowing up. I could, but eh, I don't think it's really harming anything. Okay, that's good. You can stop now, aircraft carrier and walrus carrier. Oh, I was looking up that, uh, that seal meme again, the, the bucket meme, and I didn't realize that our good friend, the, the seal, the bucket seal, kind of kicked the bucket. I was kind of sad about that. I don't know why I didn't know that. I guess he died like a while back ago, but yeah. Very unfortunate news. Didn't mean to depress you all. I know, it's very, very sad. But he's now in a place where no one can take his bucket. So that's a good, good thought to have. 
All right. Oh, that's right. I'm gonna need three, four, and five. Ooh, don't like that sound. What's going on? Where are we? What did you blow up? Oh, apparently the thing's still spawning mantos. Okay. Definitely time for assistance. And I think I'm just gonna go ahead and have these guys. Yeah, we're gonna do that. And here's how you lift up a walrus. See? Very simple. Takes massive strength. I wonder if these things can shoot while they're being hauled around. I think I'm missing my target. There's the objective. Oop, I see a hostile manta in the distance. That could be a problem. It's alright, we got a good amount of air support. Shouldn't be an issue. Oh gosh! Did we miss something? I feel as if maybe I missed something. I did miss something. Oh, my team of awesome is being awesome. Woo. Outstanding, team. That could have gone horribly south. Okay. Awesome. And I believe you can also do... Is it this? Yes, there we go. So yeah, you can actually, if you're in this view, you can shift-click on cards if you have a selection, and they'll automatically basically start protecting whatever it is. What was that? There's something over there. There's something on the wing. I'm gonna go explore this real quick. Oh, okay, that's fine. All right, let's take this island. Enough messing around. Which way am I pointing? So much snow, I can't tell. There's that indicator in the left, but that's cheating. There we go. Also, just saw The Hobbit 2. Never got to see it in theaters. Was kind of disappointed about that. That was actually a pretty good movie, though. It actually had a decent amount of action to it. Alright. Well, that's an island down. So, it felt like that went pretty quick, especially with the edits and such. So what I'm going to do is try to find us another island and see if I can fit a second takeover in here. Hopefully it will be at least a normal island. That seemed way too easy. So I'm just going to haul my walrus back over to the old aircraft carrier, wherever that may be. Totally flying the wrong way. It's over here. And I'll see you guys in a bit. And we're back, attacking Isolas, which is like the smallest island in the universe, apparently. So, this should also be a quickie. But hey, at least you get to see me take out two islands in one video. That's a plus, right? I think so. Actually, uh, next video should be more interesting, because it looks like our next target is going to be Thermopylae. Yes, from 300. And it's massive. So, yeah. Oh. Awesome, I just like watching it go to town. Beautiful. Once again, we got scramblers, so our job will be to take those out. We also have got our wonderful little bark coming here. Awesome, thank you, Supply Bark. And as is customary, it's time to blow some things up. probably just do a quick strike right here. Get him, guys. I'll provide overwatch. Keep it up. This island's not big enough for another one. Oops. Am I always going to do that? You know what? No. I don't, I don't even care. Well, or, uh, Manta 2 needs to learn how to not get itself hurt. Why is 3? Oh, I thought 3 was docked. That was weird. Is everybody docking? Fine. 
Okay, where's the next one? Oh, it's actually in the base. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, guess what just happened? Manta 5 just single-handedly took out, like, most of the defenses in the base. That's actually kind of humorous. Alright, we gotta get some missiles back on 5, and then we'll be back out there. Took out the defense. Might as well move one back, kind of. Uh, actually, we're gonna stay here for a bit. If I wanted... Can I move them here? Like, how are you guys gonna figure that one out? Oh, sweet! Okay, move them here. Whoops, never mind. That was almost the shortest offensive ever. I forgot to put the hacking module on six. Whoopsie. Which also reminds me. Let's go here. Sorry, not there. Let's go here. Throw a hack capsule on. Every time you use something, it's good to rebuild it, because it's so easy to forget to do that, and then you end up in, like, these really bad positions, because you're like, I better take this island over, and you, like, do everything you can, and, like, knock out all the defenses, you lose three Mantas and two Walrai along the way, and then you realize you don't have a hack module, and it's like, oh, I have to do this all over again. So, yes, make sure you have hack modules available. Okay, so we've got all that in play, and there's a hack capsule. I think I've already got one on the in the oven, so we're just gonna go with that. All right, let's effectively do some damage. Yeah, that'll work. Not this time. <laughs> I saw you try to crash into the ground there. Come on, offense. There we go. They are coming, right? Whoa! Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, we're gonna knock that out now. I can't see. Nice, I got it. Whew! Keep at it, really? There's absolutely no reason for this. Clear it up. Eh, might as well. It's right there. Bring it. I'll hit the walrus. We could have reached the command center anyway. I just felt like blowing it up because it was there. And my viewers want explosions, darn it. Alright, so we should be good. Six is on the way. Once again... The Manta teams have cleared all hostiles in the area for the Walrai. Wait, have we? Oh gosh, we haven't. Guys, come on. They are with me, right? Where's six going? Oh, the CC's there. Okay. Whoa. Oh crap. Oh, get out, get out, get out! RTB. Woo! Almost lost two on that one. That would have been bad. Defense! RTB. One gripe I have with this game. Okay, there's a couple gripes, but pathfinding's definitely one of them. I was gonna lay off pathfinding for a bit. Oh my gosh, look at two. But the other gripe I have is that when you hit G, which is the return to base button, it does not take them out of offense mode. And that kind of sucks because they'll fly on their way to base and then they'll attack everything along the way. And it's like, um, I'm RTBing him because he's on fire and parts of him are missing. Please don't engage things that might shoot back. I don't know. I, I heard that they're going to make a sequel to this. And I, I like to think that the developers of this... They did a really good job on it, but there are some obvious mistakes with it, and I'm really hoping that they'll basically come back and, like, really fix it up and make it the game that this one should have been. And this is a really great game, but yeah, it, it does have its flaws. I'd like to see a sequel where it's just amazing, like the AI. Yay, we got another one! Not gonna crash three. Sweet! I saw this is ours. 
So that's basically that. So yeah, all I was going to say is it would just be cool to see the pathfinding fixed and a lot of the uh, command system just a little bit more intuitive. But otherwise, yeah, this is a great game. I love it. All right, everybody, time to go home. And that's pretty much going to sum it up. So we got two islands today, Isolas and Vatland. And I think I'm going to continue playing this because I feel like we're on a pretty good roll here. And it would be really awesome to see if I can basically close this up, like beat everything and truck com or carrier command up is another game that I have beaten. I will not be doing the campaign for this. Uh, if you look online and find out why, it's basically because the tutorial, or a lot of people consider that the campaign is essentially a tutorial for the strategic gameplay. The strategy gameplay is where this game excels. So this is your campaign. And if you get this game, it is kind of cool because every time you play, this all randomizes what islands you own, everything, the perks, the resources, or the uh, technology trees, what you get for claiming islands, everything gets completely randomized. So there's actually quite a bit of replayability into it. So anyways, I'm going to leave it there. And once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, share a comment. Give me a like. Uh, I really appreciate that kind of stuff. It really helps me out. So anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Have fun.